Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily, sponsored by Unibet. For more great transfer news, head over to Unibet's blog, where they've got some great writers with all the latest stories like we'll be covering today. So if you want to head over there, read their blog, do so. The link is in the description. Everton have signed their fourth signing of the season. It's Jean-Philippe Gababin from Mainz. Uh, for an undisclosed fee around, it's probably around 25, 26 million pounds, isn't it? On a five year contract, he's a centre midfielder, defensive centre midfielder who can play centre back and also play right back. He's a Ivory Coast international. He played in the African Nations. Um, and he's a good player, apparently. A very, very good player. Uh, the player will come in and obviously will uh, be a replacement. For Adrissa Garnagay, who's obviously left for Paris Saint Germain. He'll wear the number 25 shirt. So that's all done and dusted. You can go and get that on the home or the away kit if you want it. Um, and it's good news. It's very, very good news that we've gone in there and got a player straight away. Uh, a player with versatility and someone who obviously will uh, go into centre of the midfield when he when he's when he's available, of course, because he has just returned from the African nation. So we might have to wait a few weeks into the season till we see him, till we see him up to full speed. But it's fantastic that they've got the business done straight away and uh, we've gone and got our man, which is really, really good news. Me and Baz have done a video on him, so go and check that out straight away, if you want. Um, Another sign, and hopefully on the horizon, is Moisey Ken. Uh, he's due, I know I said yesterday he was due for his is um, medical today, but he's due for his medical tomorrow. And hopefully that signing will be concluded over the weekend. Um, there's no issues with it. There's no problems with it. Uh, it's just been a case of getting out all the paperwork signed off and he'll come in tomorrow and, and, and hopefully get his medical sign uh, done and dusted. And that'll be another one through the door before next Thursday's deadline ahead of next Saturday's start of the Premier League. So, Really, really good news that it looks like we're going to get two players in and hopefully, you know, maybe the opportunity for another two or three before that deadline closes. The manager saying he wants it, he wants a centre-back. And I don't know if you're aware today, but on uh, social media, certainly Twitter, free Zuma has been trending. Uh, Everton fans making their feelings known that they want Kurt Zuma to come back to Everton permanently. So that has been trending on Twitter today. We'll have to wait and see whether Everton um, have any luck getting Kurt Zuma, whether Chelsea will change their stance, whether they still feel like um, they need him or whether they're willing to cash in on him. Uh, it, it's going to be a tough one, obviously, with them having that transfer ban. So we'll wait and see. I'm, I'm not holding my breath on that one, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll wait and see what happens next week. Stranger things have happened. And, you know, with Marcel Brands pulling the strings, anything is possible. So... We'll wait and see on that one. Uh, Nathan Broadhead, he's gone on loan for the season to Burton Albion. He also signed a one-year extension to his contract. So that's excellent news for him as well. Hopefully he'll go to Burton, get some first-team football, and um, we'll see what happens once the season's finished. Maybe they'll they'll have more of an idea you know, what his future holds. And obviously we've seen players go out on loan so far and we've seen players leave the club as well. Some of the younger players like Joe Williams did yesterday. So Everton, I imagine over the next week, we'll start to really tidy up the squad, um, try and get the likes of Mo Bessage out, Nias out, Kevin Morales out, uh, possibly Balassi. But I suppose for some of those players, they could go after our deadline closes with um, the deadline for Europe, not till the end of August. So there's there's no rush as such for those players as long as they're leaving the country. And maybe you'll find the likes of Balassi will go to go back to Anderlecht with Vincent Company, but that doesn't have to happen till the end of the month. So we'll wait and see on that. And maybe some of those young players will go out as well. The likes of uh, Morgan Feeney maybe could go out on loan. We'll have, we'll have to wait and see on that one anyway. So. There you have it. This has been today's Everton News Daily. As player, as signed, which is always good news, isn't it? Jean-Philippe Gabarman.
I hope you like Kabaman too. <laughs> there you go. I'm delighted with it. Uh, check out that video, as I said, me and Baz have done on it. Uh, loads of stuff out there on our YouTube channel at the moment, as well as our Patreon channel. If you want to check that out, please feel free. The links are in the description. Don't forget to give this video a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you later.